Hey everyone, welcome to Riding with Rob. Uh, today we are talking about driving techniques. This is uh, Driving 101 with Rob. So let's get started. Now, the very first thing I want to talk to you guys about is something that I experienced yesterday, which is steering wheel position, where you have your hands on the steering wheel. Now, yesterday the person who was driving me, their steering wheel hand position was at 12 o'clock and at 6 o'clock. And they steered like this. And they were very, very jerky with the car. At this position, you know, every little movement you make really jerks the car around. You can't let the steering wheel slide back into place. And it really makes for uh, an uncomfortable ride for the rest of your passengers. Now, on the track, off the track, on the highway, on regular roads, you want to have the most smooth steering as possible. Smoothness is key, especially when trying to drive fast, okay? Maybe your reaction times are really fast, but if you're not smooth, all that's going to go straight out the window, okay? All that's not going to matter, okay? Being smooth for everything from pedal manipulation, steering wheel manipulation, you know, gear changes, this is all, you know, going to add up to speed. Speed is a byproduct of you driving well, okay? So, it, it, yeah, yesterday was just really, I, I pretty much almost got car sick, which I almost never do. But every, you know, shift, every lane change, and then when it was time to use the turn signals, this hand was no longer in control of the steering wheel and was manipulating, you know, the <coughs> turn signals, and it it really made for an extremely uncomfortable ride for me. And I'm sure many of you have also experienced when it does this. Now, another, um, you know, let's see, another, you know, position on the steering wheel, uh, lost my train of thought, there's a cop turning around. But um, <laughs> another uh, different position is one they teach at driver's ed, at least the driver's ed that I went to. They didn't teach you this is driver's ed, you should probably go take a different driving course, okay? It's very simple, 10 and 2, right up here. Actually, this steering wheel's got little bumps just, just right above there, so you can you know, get a nice feel for it. And the reason why I do this is because this is perfect for beginners, okay? You can very easily manipulate the car from right here, okay? With very small corrections and actually because of your you know hand position you can't turn the steering wheel very far like this okay so it, it really makes it easy for new drivers to learn small corrections small corrections and um, you know once you have to make a bigger turn that's when you you'll end up doing the hand over hand type steering which is fine and great for daily driving this is a very smooth way to control a car now Another position that's bad, let's go back to the bad positions, that really bugs the fuck out of me. <laughs> it's like, Mr. Cool Guy over here, Paul Walker wannabe, you know, one hand at the very top of the steering wheel, lean in with the... Hey, look, you're not, you're, you're not in control of the car like this. This is the worst ever. You'll see plenty and plenty of, you know, younger people's cars that, um... They actually have that just that middle part of the steering wheel worn out. It's like, hmm, I wonder how you were driving. Probably like an idiot. Okay. So, this so one-handed on top of the steering wheel is not the best. Okay? You're not in very good control of the car. It's very twitchy, and uh, you're extremely limited, probably more than what you want to be or what you should be limited to when manipulating a steering wheel for a car. Now, if you're using that on a track somewhere, you are probably losing a lot. This is why. Change your driving position. Now, another very good daily driving um, hand position is, you know, most cars have like the, the three split. It's right at the bottom here. Uh, basically the opposite of 10 and 2. It's at the bottom of the steering wheel. Um, and this is great, I find, for like highway driving. Um, if I'm just pretty much going a straight line, don't need to make a lot. Maybe just a couple lane changes or, you know, the, the soft curves of, of the United States highways. That position works great, and you know it's very easy for my arms to just stay on the steering wheel. It's very relaxed. Um, now this is not a good, this is not a high performance driving technique whatsoever. Do not use that if you're trying to drive fast. <laughs> okay, that's for simple daily driving on the highways when I find it actually useful. Okay. You see, I'm not trying to drive quickly. I did a nice little hand over hand, very smooth and easy uh, manipulation of the wheel. This is how you want to be when steering your vehicle, whether it be for high performance or not, because, let's face it, the smoother you are, the less resistance there is on your car, the less weight transfers, and things of that nature, which puts less drag on your engine, and therefore, you will go faster, save better gas mileage, blah, blah, blah. 
Okay. All, all just on manipulating your steering wheel. Um, now, the, the best place for you to have your hands on your steering wheel is instead of at 10 and 2, 9 and 3, okay? The steering wheel, uh, pretty much, you know, that perpendicular line this way across the steering wheel, have one hand on either end. Now, when I'm driving a stick shift car, I'll keep this same position even when I take this hand off because you still get the same amount of uh, turning power as you do with both hands. Now, the, you know, you're not going to be able to steer as much and you're not going to be able to switch your hand position, but if I'm changing gear, this is really all I should need is right here. Not up here where it's all twitchy and weird, but right here. My other hand would be more comfortable directly across from it. It'll give me that same exact feel as if I have both hands on the steering wheel. Now you can turn in this position pretty much from lock to lock of your arms. Now if, if you're driving on a racetrack and um, you know you're you're making that lock turn and the car doesn't turn far enough, what you're gonna want to do is before the corner you're gonna want to smooth your hand position just a little bit so you can make that little extra bit of a turn. Um, for daily driving, you're really not gonna find a lot of times where you have to let go like this. Now, um, daily driving, I would just recommend when you're doing a, a turn that requires more than a, a, a lock arm turn, then, you know, go hand over hand and just keep it nice and smooth. Um, but this is great, especially for like autocross and stuff. Um, you really won't find too many turns that are um, overly sharp on, on a race course or on a, you know, even on an autocross where you have to really let go of the steering wheel. So this is going to give you the best performance on the track. Okay, it's something that I like to practice um, pretty much every day when I'm driving. It's just, you know, getting really comfortable. And you know what, it's a comfortable wheel position. My arms aren't, you know, extended super far. As you can see today, I'm not gangster leaned back because we're talking about steering and, and driving properly. And you want to be able to have a nice bend in your elbow. You want to be able to move your arms all the way from lock to lock. And uh, that's what, you know going to be the best type of steering wheel manipulation uh, you're going to get there. And uh, that's really where I wanted to start off on my driving technique uh, videos. Now I'm going to do a couple of these, um, and to, not tomorrow, but uh, the next video that I do on driving techniques, we're going to be talking about uh, heel to toe. Um, it's something that gets thrown around a lot, and um, some people know what it means, some people don't know what it means, some people think they know what it means, but actually have no idea. And, um, there's actually a different technique for each and every car, so we're going to go over that in our next video. That's pretty much it for, for steering wheel manipulation. You want to be smooth. Um, like I said, 9 and 3 is really great, especially when high-performance driving. Uh, daily driving, 10 and 2 are the exact opposite of that on the, uh, on the steering wheel down here. So it would be uh, 5 and 7, right? And uh, that'll give you, you know, a nice comfortable for like a highway driving. This is dumb this is dumb, you know, if you're going to be driving a car, being as smooth as possible is, is very beneficial for your tires, for your gas mileage, uh, for speed, and all those kinds of things, so really pay attention to how you drive your own car, okay, because how you drive, um, and not necessarily how quickly you do things, but how smoothly you do things, is going to bite you benefit you more in the longer run, especially if you're like me, you're into autocross racing, rally cross, uh, things like that. That type of steering wheel technique and knowing um, and practicing the best one for your vehicle um, is going to make you not only faster um, on the track, but also you know make your car ride a lot smoother for all your passengers and actually quicker for you. Okay? So, uh, that'll wrap up today's video. Like I said, we're going to be talking about some pedal techniques, a little heel-to-toe action for you guys. And uh, if you would, hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already. And um, uh, share my videos because I'm awesome. I'll see you guys later.